Coffee, the beloved beverage that kickstarts the mornings of millions around the globe, has been the subject of extensive research and debate, especially concerning its effects on health. Among the myriad of topics explored, one of the most intriguing is its impact on blood sugar levels. As we delve into this caffeinated journey, it's essential to consider the widespread consumption of coffee and its significance in our daily routines, making understanding its health implications all the more relevant. Watch till the end to uncover the surprising twist on how your daily coffee could be solidly shaping your health and why the last drop of this video could change the way you drink your morning brew forever. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. At the heart of the discussion is the complex relationship between coffee and glucose metabolism. Coffee isn't just a warm, energizing drink, it's a complex mixture of compounds, including caffeine, antioxidants, and other biologically active molecules that can have various effects on the body. The interplay of these compounds can influence everything from energy levels to how our bodies process sugars, making the beverage a point of interest for those monitoring their blood glucose levels, such as individuals with diabetes or those at risk of developing the condition. Studies on coffee consumption and its impact on blood sugar levels have produced mixed results, adding layers of complexity to our understanding. Initial research highlighted concerns regarding caffeine's potential to impair insulin sensitivity, suggesting that regular coffee drinking might lead to higher blood sugar levels over time. This is particularly alarming for individuals managing diabetes, where maintaining blood sugar within a healthy range is crucial for preventing complications associated with the condition. However, as research has progressed, a more nuanced picture has emerged. Observational studies have indicated that long-term coffee consumption may be associated with a reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This suggests that components in coffee might offer protective effects against the onset of diabetes, a condition characterized by high blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Delving deeper into the biochemistry of coffee reveals that it contains several compounds with potential health benefits, including chlorogenic acids, trigonaline, and lignans. These compounds have been studied for their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which could contribute to the protective effects observed in long-term coffee drinkers. Antioxidants help combat oxidative stress, a condition linked to various chronic diseases, including diabetes, where anti-inflammatory properties can support overall metabolic health. The relationship between coffee and blood sugar control becomes even more interesting when considering the role of coffee in weight management. Some studies suggest that coffee consumption may support weight loss efforts by increasing metabolic rate and fat oxidation. Given that obesity is a significant risk factor for type 2 diabetes, the potential weight management benefits of coffee could indirectly contribute to its protective effects against the disease. Moreover, the distinction between caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee adds another layer to the conversation. Decaffeinated coffee, which retains many of the beneficial compounds found in its caffeinated counterpart, minus the caffeine, has also been associated with a reduced risk of developing diabetes. This highlights that caffeine is not the sole component of coffee influencing glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity. Now, for the most compelling part of the discussion, recent meta-analyses and systematic reviews have shed light on the long-term effects of coffee consumption on blood sugar levels and diabetes risk. These comprehensive studies, which analyze data from numerous individual studies, provide a broader perspective on coffee's role in metabolic health. The consensus from these reviews suggests that moderate coffee consumption typically defined as 3 to 4 cups per day, is associated with a significantly lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This protective effect is observed for both caffeinated and decaffeinated coffee, underscoring the role of other bioactive compounds in coffee beyond caffeine. It's important to note, however, that individual responses to coffee can vary widely. Factors such as genetic makeup, existing health conditions, and lifestyle choices can influence how coffee affects blood sugar levels and overall health. For some, coffee may cause a temporary increase in blood sugar levels, particularly in those not accustomed to caffeine. For others, the long-term metabolic benefits may outweigh any short-term fluctuations. 
Before wrapping up our exploration into coffee's fascinating relationship with blood sugar levels, it's crucial to delve into the personalization of coffee consumption and its metabolic implications. The body's reaction to coffee is as individual as the myriad of coffee blends available, with genetics playing a significant role in determining our sensitivity to caffeine and its effects on glucose metabolism. Some individuals metabolize caffeine quickly, thanks to their genetic makeup, potentially diminishing adverse effects on blood sugar regulation. In contrast, slow metabolizers might experience more pronounced impacts on glucose metabolism, suggesting that personalized advice regarding coffee consumption might be beneficial for optimal metabolic health. Furthermore, the method of coffee preparation and the addition of ingredients like sugar, cream, or flavored syrups can significantly alter the beverage's health profile. A black coffee has a vastly different nutritional impact compared to a sugary, creamy coffee concoction, which can contribute to weight gain and impaired glucose tolerance if consumed frequently. This distinction is vital for individuals striving to manage their blood sugar levels, as the added calories and sugars can counteract any potential benefits derived from coffee's bioactive compounds. Moreover, the context of coffee consumption also matters. Drinking coffee in conjunction with a balanced meal might mitigate potential spikes in blood glucose levels compared to consuming coffee on an empty stomach. This aspect of timing and pairing can be particularly important for those with diabetes or prediabetes, emphasizing the need for a holistic dietary approach rather than isolating coffee as a singular factor. Additionally, lifestyle factors, including physical activity and overall diet quality, interact with coffee consumption in influencing metabolic health. An active lifestyle and a diet rich in whole foods can enhance the protective effects of coffee on blood sugar regulation and diabetes risk. Given these nuances, the dialogue around coffee and its impact on metabolic health transcends a simple good or bad dichotomy. It invites a personalized exploration of how coffee fits into an individual's life, considering genetic predispositions, lifestyle choices, and overall dietary patterns. This personalized approach ensures that recommendations regarding coffee consumption are tailored to support each person's unique health journey, maximizing potential benefits while minimizing risks. As we consider coffee's place in dietary guidelines and individual health plans, embracing this complexity allows for a more nuanced and effective strategy in leveraging coffee's role in promoting metabolic health and diabetes prevention. In conclusion, coffee's role in influencing blood sugar levels and diabetes risk is a tapestry woven from various strands of evidence, with each study adding color and detail to the overall picture. While caffeine's immediate effects on insulin sensitivity and blood glucose may raise concerns, the long-term consumption of coffee appears to offer protective benefits against the development of type 2 diabetes. These benefits likely stem from a combination of bioactive compounds in coffee that work together to support metabolic health. As with all things in nutrition and health, moderation is key. For those who enjoy coffee, drinking it in moderate amounts while being mindful of added sugars and fats can be part of a healthy lifestyle that supports good metabolic health and blood sugar control.